hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i will be doing the csec integrated science may june 2018 paper one but if you are visiting my channel for the very first time a warm welcome and uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded also give this video a thumbs up by pressing that like button when you do that you allow this video to reach as many students as possible so let's help out each um other's community so to speak in this area so and you will also notice that there are ads that will be playing on your videos I know at times these can be very annoying. Yes, I do know that, but guess what? It is by not skipping these ads, it's your way of saying thank you, miss, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to make these videos so that we can benefit from them. So just take a little break, refresh yourself, and come back and watch the video. So let's get into this video. So this is going to be a two-part video and that is why it is important that you subscribe to the channel because this is going to be part one and then we are going to cover part two to complete the rest of the past paper so let's get into this paper so we'll be covering the first 35 questions so question one says which of the following changes of states of matter describes sublimation a solid to gas B, liquid to gas, C, gas to liquid, then to solid, or D, solid to liquid to gas. We know the answer is A, solid to gas. Two says, which of the following diagrams most likely shows the process of osmosis? Let's examine them. Looking at A, we clearly do not see the process of osmosis there. Let's look at B. Neither is it taking place at B. Let's look at C. Neither is it taking place at C. Let's examine D. Yes, so D would be our answer. Let's go to item three. Item 3 refers to the following diagrams which display seeds under different conditions in four test tubes plugged with cotton wool. So we have four diagrams there. Three, in which test tube is germination most likely to take place? Well, we can see that it is likely to take place at two. It has the right temperature. So B would be on the right condition for C to germinate. So B will be our answer. Let's go to item four to five. Item four to five refer to the following parts of a flower. A, ovule, B, ovary, C, anther, D, filament. In answering items four to five, each option may be used once more than once or not at all four which part of the flower forms the seed after fertilization we know that is a ovule so a would be for four five says which structure is a site where male some persons may say gametes some persons may say gametes are produced whichever way you pronounce it. But we know that the answer for five is C answer. Six says, the most important reason for ensuring that a baby is fed its mother's milk produced during the first three to four days of lactation is that it A, does not cost anything, B, is at the correct temperature for the baby, C, reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer in the mother, or D, boosts the baby's immune system and gives protection against infection. We know it is D. 
boosts the baby's immune system and gives protection against infection. Seven, which of the following methods of birth control is most likely to prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections? A, barrier, B, natural, C, surgical, D, hormonal. We know the answer is A, barrier. Let's go to number eight. It says, which of the following word equations represents the process of photosynthesis? All right. So looking at them, we could tell that the answer is going to be A. Carbon dioxide plus water, which gives energy. Glucose plus oxygen. Let's go to items 9 to 10. So items 9 to 10 refer to the following diagram of the human digestive tract. So it, it is labeled four parts. Nine. The organ labeled four is the, we know that is the gallbladder. So nine is D. Let's go to 10. Hydrochloric acid is produced in A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four. So, Let's look at our diagram. So we know hydrochloric acid, it's produced at two. That is the stomach in the stomach. So B would be our answer. Let's go to number 11. Which of the following types of drugs are used to get rid of water from the human body? A, stimulants. B, hormones. C, sedatives or D, diuretics. So we know the answer is D, diuretics. 12 says, the part of the heart that separates the left side from the right is the A, valve, B, tendon, C, septum, D, pacemaker. We know that is C, septum. 13 says, the bone in the upper arm is called the A, ulna, B, tibia, C, radius, D, humerus. We know it is A, D, humerus. So let's go on to number 14. A hinge joint is found at the A, knee, B, neck, C, skull, D, shoulder. That is A, knee. Let's go to number 15. Antibodies are important in the human body because they A, control hormones, B, protect against diseases, C, help make red blood cells, D, regulate blood glucose levels. So we know that is B, protect against diseases. Let's go to number 16. Which of the following are common features of respiratory surfaces? One, moist. Two, small surface area. Three, well supplied with blood vessels. So our answer options are A, one and two only. B, one and three only. C, two and three only. Or D, one, two, and three. So we know the answer is B, one and three only. Let's go to number 17. Which of the following would not be considered a significant source of air pollution? A, oil spill. B, wildfire. C, volcanic eruption. D, extensive use of cars. So we know it would be A, oil spill. 18 now. Which of the following statements about respiration is true? A, anaerobic respiration produces more energy than aerobic, aerobic respiration. B, anaerobic respiration requires oxygen while aerobic respiration does not require oxygen. 
C, aerobic respiration requires oxygen. Well, an aerobic respiration does not require oxygen. Or D, aerobic respiration produces oxygen, while anaerobic respiration produces carbon dioxide. So, we know that. The answer is C, because this is another repeated question. Let's move to number 19. Here we go. Which of the following processes are associated with excretion by the kidneys? One, filtration. Two, evaporation. Three, reabsorption. So our answer options, A, one and two only. B, one and three only. C, two and three only. Or D, one, two and three. So we know the answer is B, one and three only. Let's go to number 20. So item 20 refers to the following diagram of the eye. So 20 says, which, stru which structure transmits impulses to the brain? Is it A, B, C, or D? So we know it is at C. It's at C. Right. 21 says, the endocrine system produces a enzymes b impulses c hormones or d neurotransmitters we know it is c hormones let's go to number 22. the three small bones found in the middle here of a human being are called the a drums b cochlea c follicles d ossicles we know it is a D. Let's go to number 23. Which part of the eye allows a person to focus on both near and distant objects? A, iris, B, lens, C, retina, or D, cornea? We know that is B, lens. 24. To practice good personal hygiene, a person should wash his or her hands after one, using the toilet, B, putting out the garbage, three, cutting up meat to cook. So we know that it is all of those three items. So D would be our answer, one, two, and three. This is an easy one. Let's go to 25. Which of the following is a parasite? A, rat, B, fly, C, tick, D, cockroach. We know it is C, tick. Let's go to number 26. The type of pest control which involves the use of a predator is called A, biological control, B, mechanical control, C, chemical control, or D, sanitary control. So we know it is a biological control. 27. Item 27 refers to the following picture showing methods of heat transfer. So we are asked in 27, it says the method of heat transfer at 1, which is here, as you can see, is, is it A, radiation, B, convection, C, conduction, or D, evaporation? So we know that it is C, conduction. Let's move to number 28. Liquids and gases normally expand when heated and contract when cooled. This principle explains the functioning of a A, water pump, B, vacuum cleaner, C, tire pressure gauge, or D, mercury thermometer. What is our answer? We know it is D, mercury thermometer. Let's go to 29. 
It says, item 29 refers to the following picture of an athlete jumping over a hurdle. What type of energy is the athlete using to jump over the hurdle? A, eat, B, sound, C, kinetic, or D, potential. We know A and B would have been out, so we know it. Our answer is C. That is, we know kinetic is associated with any type of movement. Let's go to number 30. Number 30. It says, which of the following energy conversions takes place during the process of photosynthesis? A, E to light, B, light to kinetic, C, chemical to heat, D, light to chemical. So we know the answer is D, light to chemical. Let's go to number 31. Here we go. So it says, which of the following is not a conductor of electricity? A, iron, B, carbon, C, copper, D, plastic. So we know the answer would be D, plastic. 32 says, a fire extinguisher that contains water should not be used on, one, a bush fire, two, a chemical fire, three, an electrical fire. So our answer would be two and three only. So that would be C. Let's go to number items 33 to 34. We refer to the following safety equipment. A, ear protector, B, goggles, C, safety clothing, or D, respirator. In answering items 33 to 34, each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. 33. Which equipment makes a person working on the side of the road visible to motorists? We know that is C. Safety clothing. 34. Which equipment protects a person from toxic fumes? That is D. Respirator. Our final question says, which of the following types of machines are first class levers? A, claw hammer, seesaw, tweezers. B, scissors, seesaw, wheelbarrow. C, claw hammer, crowbar, seesaw. D, scissors, tweezers, wheelbarrow. So the answer would be C, claw hammer, crowbar. Seesaw. So this is it. We have come to the end of part one of the CSEC Integrated Science May June 2018 paper one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to know when part two is out. Thank you for watching.